Good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to install uh, a new TV here in the living room. Um, so looking at the chimney, it seems like the people people that lived here before us had it right there in the wall. But I don't know what's behind it, and I don't want to dig into it, break it apart, just to make sure that it is secure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it right here on the left side. So I was just going to mount, where is it? Here we go. I was just gonna mount this right here, uh, but then when I was looking for the studs, I noticed that the studs weren't evenly, evenly spaced out, see? So that raised sort of like a, like a red flag for me because now I don't know um, what might be behind it. You know, what if it's a cable or something and I don't want to accidentally um, cut something that's not supposed to be there. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut this open. I'm going to install this uh, two by 12 that I had already laying around. And then I'm gonna mount that to the TV mount. So hopefully everything goes as planned. Um, you know, I already laid out everything that I need. Um, so hopefully, hopefully everything goes as planned. And the reason I say that about the wall that maybe wasn't supposed to be here is because I already had to remove a wall that was here it was actually a door right here in the center uh, but since I couldn't get the couch in since I couldn't get it in I removed the wall and as you can see the wall that was here wasn't originally here so that's why that you know erased the red flag for me because um, I want to see what's behind it All right, good enough. All right, so this piece of wood, it's a little bit overkill, but since I just had it laying around, uh, I'm just gonna use it. So it is pretty big, but the TV will block this. Um, Cause I could just have anchored it through the drywall, but you know, I want it a bit more secure, a bit more stable. So that's why I'm doing this right here. All right, so now I got to cut into the drywall. So this is, I guess, a specialty blade, knife, saw. I don't know what it's called. To cut into drywall, don't use anything electrical, electric, like a saw, circular saw or a saw saw, because if you cut into something that you're not supposed to cut into, you won't know until it's too late. Electrical, gas, water, I don't know. So, play it safe, use one of these. And as I'm cutting this, if I feel anything odd in here, you know, as I'm cutting this, I'll know because I can feel it, you know, with my hand. But if I was using something that runs on batteries or an extension cord, you know, it's gonna cut right through it without knowing until it's too late. So before I forget, center, 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 center. All right, so before I put that up there, I did buy a, I guess called a recess um, outlet. So that way when I plug it in, when I plug in the TV, the cable won't be sticking out a lot. It'll be sunken in. And then also because I don't want the cables on the outside, you know, where the kids can pull on it or, you know, something can go wrong. So I am going to hide them on the inside or behind it. Alright, so before messing with this, make sure you turn off the power. Um, you can, you know, work with this. Uh, without turning out the power, you just got to make sure that you don't 
grab both sides or you gotta make sure that nothing touches that includes here we go if you're working with any metal if you touch one side and you're messing around with it and you touch the other side you're gonna see fireworks so make sure uh, the power is off and then you can work on it in peace so since I don't have a way of testing besides me touching both sides and getting you know shocked um, I'm gonna plug this lamp in here all right it didn't turn on looks like it's off now I can go ahead and touch this side and this side all right cool so we're good all right and now I'm going to put this electric cord um, or wires in through here and get it out from the top So I did a little bend so it doesn't fall back in. Now I can sort of tug on this end to get rid of any little slack. And now, there we go. So since I have three uh, cables or you know whatever they're called wires, um, I am going to convert these two, these three into just two, so that I can attach two on each side. All right. Once these three are tied in, I will be using. One of these, what are they called? Wire twists, wire connectors. All right, so that's good in there. But one thing that I like to do afterwards, I like putting electric, electrical tape or electric tape just to secure it even more. I mean, I'm no electrician, but this is just me being extra safe. All right, so by doing this with the electric tape, now I know for sure, for sure, this little piece won't come off. So now the hard part is gonna be shoving all this inside. And the back of this, it does tell you which one's the hot, which one's uh, the white, or neutral, or I can't remember exactly what they are. But I like to mark um, the hot so that way I know that this is going to be the black cable um, the one that doesn't have the marking is for white that way I don't have to keep checking what it is I can just look at it and be like oh yeah here we go but of course if you look at the screws they are different colors but you know knowing me I'll probably mess up so marker all right so i don't have my needle nose pliers uh because what i like to do is i like to create a little turn or u shape to these uh that way when i screw them in here i know for sure for sure they won't come out because if i just I, I can just put it like this but i will worry too much that it may just come undone um so for extra precaution, I'll do a little loop. All right, so the direction that the loop goes does matter because if I was to put it in like this, when I when it goes time to tighten it up, it will sort of come undone a bit. So I will have to twist them the other way. Oh yeah, and I guess this is supposed to be this way upside down, but I like it like that. So now that I have all the wires in here, tightened up, uh, extra security, once again, electrical tape or electric tape. I don't know exactly what it's called, but now that the power is on, you know, I accidentally touch this, I will get shocked. And it's more of a scare than, you know, 
actually hurts. All right, time to put this box in the inside. Uh, normally, you know, when you just have the studs here, you can easily just hit it with a hammer and you'll be done. But I have the drywall now. So what I did, I just drilled a couple of holes in the back um, so I can screw some screws in there. So now there are other kinds that as you twist here, there's like a little lever that locks into place for drywall. But I wasn't even thinking about it. I just picked one up and then I guess it's not safe to just have and like, you know, wires hanging around. That's why they usually like anchor them in the middle. Uh, so if you do put a nail through the drywall, um, you know, there's less chance of you hitting a wire. So on this, I don't have a choice. You know, it's gonna have to be just dangling in the middle. All right, so I didn't even think about this. Um, a friend of mine gave me these pliers there for fishing. Um, but they will get the job done. All right, so it's all set. Um, kind of hard to see on this one, but on this one, you can see how the little curve um, hugs the screw. That way you know for sure, for sure that if you tug on it or something happens, you know, it won't come loose. And then at the very end, you know, since that one was a little mission because it had a ton of wires in there, but this one's by itself. So it's pretty easy. So all you gotta do is just bend these, sort of like a little zigzag, and then it'll go right in there. All right, so the electricity is on. I didn't see any sparks, so that's good. All right, there it is. And that's that. So I'm pretty sure it would have been okay with just, let's say two over here and two over here. But you know, I wanna make sure it stays there. So now I can put screws anywhere I want for the TV mount. Um, simply because now I have this, you know, two by 12 up there. All right, so I thought maybe the TV was gonna be super high because these uh, holes where the bracket goes, or the, the TV mount goes, are pretty low and not in the center. Um, yep, yeah, I don't think they could be adjusted. All right, so I ran into a couple problems. One is if I use these small ones, um, only about half of this goes into the tv because there's so many i guess pieces or parts that take up some of the space but i can use this so more of the thread or the screw goes in the only problem is that it's too big so i do have to use these spacers um so yeah the only problem is if i was to put it here so that tv wouldn't be so high this piece that's going horizontally from left to right gets in the way of the spacer so now as you can see in the back there's not enough room for the screw to go in so not only is the TV already going to be pretty high enough because that was the frame to put it in, the holes wasn't in the middle. Uh, so I'll learn from my mistakes, inspect your TV first.
So all in all, the TV ended up a bit higher than what I originally thought it was gonna go, but it came out pretty good. Um, now all I gotta do now is clean up, put my stuff away, throw this away, clean my mess up, and then wait for this thing to finish loading or updating. And that is it. Thanks everyone.